This is how you set your meter to check for continuity, which is if two things are electrically connected. You're going to be setting your meter to the diode setting. This is a Craftsman meter. I have the black plugged into the COM port and the red plugged into the V, the ohms and milliamps port. I have the meter turned to this setting, which looks like a arrow with a plus sign. And you can see from the screen that the meter says one right now, uh, means that nothing is connected electrically, but I can test what my meter is gonna do. It's either gonna beep at me or say zero if I touch the two prongs and this meter beeps, that's how you know that two parts are connected electrically. This is how you test for grounding. Uh, that means two things are electrically connected. Some symptoms of this in your LED string are some LEDs light up, some don't. The whole string is dimmer. None of the LEDs light up. And you can do a continuity test to, to test for that. So I've already set my meter to the diode setting, so I'm ready to um, take my probes and touch them to my LED string and the heatsink. So take one probe, put it to the joint you want to test, which in this case is going to be this one, and you put the other one on the heatsink. If you hear a beep or your meter reads zero, that means you have continuity and you want to fix that joint. Either you need to re-solder it, uh, use a nylon washer under the head of the screw, and then you want to retest it, make sure that you don't get that beep anymore. I'm going to go over to this joint and do the same thing. No beeping, that means that's not, there's no grounding there, it's not a sign of continuity, and I know that joint is good in that regard.